Tonight, only on four, a story that seems to defy the odds. One week ago today, a local truck driver helped rescue a pregnant woman from this overturned SUV downtown near the Music City Center. It turns out that same trucker seems to have a talent for being in the right place at the right time, also recently saving a young boy with autism from a potentially deadly situation. Everyday event, I do it all the time. August 22nd, around 12.30, Tammy Ferris is heading to work at the Loveless Cafe. As I ascended the hill, I noticed that there was a truck pulling his rig into the middle of the oncoming traffic. He stopped it right in the middle of Macquarie Lane. The truck is owned by North Carolina-based Old Dominion Freight Line. Driver Harold Hyde is behind the wheel. As I was coming, I seen cars swerving like to the, to the left, like, like it was an object in the road. I'm getting ready to do the same thing. Suddenly, he notices the object in the road is a young boy. As traffic continues to zip past the child, Harold Hyde realizes there's only one thing he can do, use his truck. <laughs> he pulls the big rig across both lanes of traffic and hits the hazard lights. He didn't have no shoes on, a t-shirt, and underwear. I was like, hey, little man, where you live at? I'm, I'm trying to get him back to his home. It happened here on the 8800 block of McCrory Lane. A four-year-old boy with autism unlocks a door at home and wanders onto the road with no concept of the danger. I had already put my car in park, put the flashers on, my seat belts off, my doors open, and now I'm running to his location, me as a female. So I said, give him to me, maybe he'll be more comfortable with me. And when he did, he laid his head on my shoulder, wrapped his arms and legs around me. Tammy then drives to Loveless Cafe and calls police, who returned the boy to his home. How you doing, Tammy? Nice to finally meet you. You as well? How you doing? I'm good. It's good to see you. Congratulations. No, congratulations. You the lifesaver. Honey, if you hadn't hey. stopped your truck, it'd well, be a totally different story. Tammy's boss was so moved, he contacted Harold's company. They had emailed me back and said, we're going to post this. This is really special to us. And, and that's kind of what I was hoping for. Somebody should know in his company what he had done. Tragedy averted on a country road because a stranger used his truck to help a child. He's a hero. He stopped his truck. He made sure nobody could hit the kid. If the kid would have ran, he had it blocked. Nobody could do anything. Now, the little boy's family did not want to go on camera, but they did thank Harold and Tammy in person. The boy's dad told me his son managed to climb up on some furniture to open a six-foot-high lock. They say they've now upgraded their door locks and security system so it can't happen again.